Hi everyone, my name is Mayra. Welcome to RN Troubles. So in today's video, Roger's not with me because he's working. So if you need somebody to build your band, Roger is a person to contact because he does an amazing job. And uh, however, in this video, I'm gonna share with you the eight cheapest countries to visit. I'm gonna tell you how much we spend on each. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, and the number one cheapest country that we visited is Malaysia. We spent $892 for 30 days for both. In Malaysia, we got to see four different islands, uh, Perhenshan Kechil, which is known as the Affordable Maldives Salvation. Beautiful island, definitely recommend you to visit sometime. And also we visit Capas. Pulau Capas is a beautiful island where, where we love to snorkel. Uh, it was a really relaxing island with warm blue water, uh, one of our favorites for sure. If you like waterfalls, I think you're gonna like the island of Langkawi because we were chasing waterfalls, we found some really cool ones and it was beautiful. If you like art, uh, street art, you're definitely gonna like Pinan. Uh, they have a lot of our, uh, street art there and it's, it's a fun island as well. And in Malaysia, we also got to see the uh, city of Kuala Lumpur. It has some unique and very beautiful uh, locations to see in uh, the city of Kuala Lumpur. And not only that, but we got time to visit the famous Cameroon Highlands that where for the first time we got to see uh, tea plantations and it was beautiful. And honestly, Malaysia is a beautiful country. We felt pretty safe. Uh, and it has a little bit of everything that we love and uh, of course it's the most affordable country we visit so 100% we recommend Malaysia. Okay and the second cheapest country that we visited is Vietnam. We spent 30 days and we spent $1,025 for both. So in Vietnam we actually arrived in Ho Chi Minh City that's in the south and we purchased our own motorbike. So we got to uh, drive from the south in Ho Chi Minh City all the way to Hanoi and the north. In Vietnam, it was a very unique experience and uh, experience that we are always gonna remember because we had our own transportation and we got to visit amazing locations like we got to stop in the city of Dalat where we found this beautiful blue lake, very unique, in the area and uh, Dalat it's a little bit cooler than most of the country so that's very unique to Vietnam and um, we also seen really beautiful waterfalls along the way and not only that but we got to see uh, very unique beaches that we never seen before and uh, we got to experience of course the culture we love Vietnamese food so that was amazing and in Hanoi uh, we had an amazing time as well at the end we were able to solder motorbike we spent 30 days and honestly we needed more time to visit like the northern parts of Vietnam Vietnam has beautiful places to see and is the second most affordable country that we visited so definitely definitely recommend vietnam as well if you're liking this video give us a like subscribe to our channel for more travel guides thank you and the third cheapest country that we visited that's my country mexico baja california north and south so we stayed 30 days and we spent a thousand one hundred and nineteen dollars for both uh, we had our own uh, little home on wheels, so we drove all the way from the north to the south. If you like surf, you're definitely gonna like Baja California. Roger really likes Baja California because he surfs and he enjoys surfing. But if you like calm water, warm water, blue water like myself, you're also gonna find that on the south. You're actually gonna find here one of the most beautiful beaches uh, in Mexico is known to be in La Paz. Uh, and we also spent a few days in, in Cabo San Lucas and I'm not gonna lie Cabo San Lucas is a little bit pricey however because we had our own little home on wheels and we were cooking and staying there we saved a lot of money being in Cabo San Lucas nonetheless um, if you are able to drive to do that road trip I recommend it hundred percent you're gonna have an amazing experience it's really safe right now the roads are pretty good 
uh, and you are gonna save a lot of money if you have a place to sleep as well uh, so yeah uh, we have a full guide by the way I'm gonna put it right here so you can uh, check it out if you're gonna do that amazing road trip and the fourth cheapest country that we visited is Indonesia. So we spent $1,180 for both for 30 days. We purchased a ticket from Kuala Lumpur uh, to Bali. And in Bali, we spent the first two weeks in Balangan. Roger always dreamed of surfing in Bali. And honestly, uh, Bali has amazing, beautiful beaches with perfect waves for surfers. So if you're a surfer, definitely you have to go to Bali. So for the first two weeks, Roger bought a, a, a surfboard and he got to surf in different beaches around the area. And then after that, we went to beautiful Ubud. Of course, we got to see the rice terraces over there. We also got to experience some beautiful and amazing waterfalls. And then after that, we got time to uh, see some of the islands around, like the island of Nusa Penida that has one of the most beautiful beaches that you're ever gonna see in your life. And uh, I recommend to spend a few days in Nusa Penida because if you go to like other beaches around, they're as beautiful or even more beautiful. They're just, it, this is just an amazing island that I highly recommend you to spend a few days here. Uh, we also visit the Gili Islands, there's three, and each island is unique on its own way and it's beautiful. We got to snorkel with turtles, uh, the beaches are beautiful. Honestly, Bali is beautiful, it's affordable, you definitely have to go there as soon as possible because it's amazing. And the fifth cheapest country that we visited is Cambodia. So in Cambodia, we only stay 15 days and we spend uh, Six hundred dollars. I'm assuming we, if we would have stayed thirty days, it would have been like around twelve hundred dollars for both. So in Cambodia, we visited a famous archaeological site, Angkor Wat. That once you're in there, um, by the way, Roger and I, we actually did the tour. We rented a bike and we uh, did it on our bike. Uh, we only spend uh, one day in Angkor Wat. When you are there, it's hard to believe that this was built years and years ago. Uh, the archaeological site is beautiful and we regret not spending more days there. So there's like a three day tour. We highly recommend you to do it because the place is huge. Uh, we thought because we were doing it on a bike, we were gonna do it like in one whole day, but we didn't. So if you are going to Cambodia, to Angkor Wat, definitely stay the three days doing the tour because it's worth it. The place is beautiful and it's just a very unique location, um, archaeological site, I'm sorry. So definitely go there. And then um, in Cambodia, we also went to this beautiful island, Koron. If they already fixed the problem with the trash, I highly recommend you to go to this island because it's like a honeymoon island. The water is calm, blue. It's one of the whitest sands that we ever seen. It's like powder, beautiful, clear water. So hopefully they did. And if they did, definitely go there as soon as possible, as soon as possible because it's a beautiful island. Laos, we stay here for 30 days and we spent $1,235 for both. We actually took a bus from Vietnam all the way to Luang Provan. This city is really beautiful. You're going to find beautiful waterfalls with blue water. Roger and I spent a few days here. The waterfall is amazing. And uh, we also went um, around the area to this spring. It was a green, clear water, beautiful spring. We actually even imagined how it would be to live in a place like this because it honestly looked like paradise. The water, the nature, the butterflies, everything was just so beautiful. Um, in Luang Provan, um, you also gonna experience what it's like for the local people. Uh, to live like in a Buddhist, Buddhist uh, town, you're gonna learn about Buddhism. And uh, in Laos, we uh, went to other cities, Van Bien, we were chasing waterfalls. You already know by, the, if you've been following us, you know that Roger and I love water. Waterfalls is one of our favorite things. And um, I also remember this beautiful hike that once you get to the top, you see the view and it looks like a painting 
beautiful, beautiful hike that I always remember. Um, in Laos, we also did a, a famous loop in a, a scooter that is called the Tahek Loop. And in here, for the first time, Roger and I experienced uh, what it's like to go in a cave in a boat. It was a very unique experience, a very amazing experience that highly, we highly recommend you to do. And then at the end, uh, we went to 4,000 islands. This is a river. You're gonna find waterfalls, a very unique place. 4,000 islands in a river is just, it's so beautiful and very unique. Uh, you're gonna experience like an amazing uh, sunset. So Laos is definitely another country that we recommend you to visit. Uh, many uh, don't really go to Laos, but after we went and spent 30 days, we highly recommend it as well. Okay, and the seven cheapest country that we visited is the Philippines. So in the Philippines, we spent $1,306 for both for 30 days. We actually uh, purchased a ticket from Bangkok uh, to the Philippines. And the Philippines has over 7,000 islands. It's really hard to pick the islands that you want to see in 30 days. But we pick a few, Palawan. In Palawan, you're going to find the famous and most beautiful thing, the Blue Lagoon. So it's beautiful. Uh, we also went to the island of Cebu. In the island of Cebu, you're going to find Roger's favorite waterfalls in the world and those are located in Cebu. They're blue water, the nature is beautiful. You feel honestly like in a movie. I don't think our videos do justice to the place. So it's definitely a beautiful place. And then you're gonna find in the Philippines, one of my favorite islands in the world, Kalamangan. Kalamangan is a very small island, but it has one of the clearest water. We actually camp in here and it just felt like a dream. We were snorkeling. Uh, like I said, the water is blue, the sun is white, it's just a beautiful place, really relaxing and uh, again, I wish we would have spent more days here. Um, since we only had 30 days, our time was limited, however, I regret not staying longer here, so if you go there, definitely stay longer here. Uh, so yeah, the Philippines is definitely one of the most beautiful places and it's also affordable, so take note as well. All right, and the cheapest country that we visited is Thailand. We spent $1,380 for both. And in Thailand, we spent a little bit more than a month. And the reason is because first I entered with my Mexican passport and I only get 15 days with that one. So we came back uh, with a US passport. We got 30 days with our visas. So in Thailand, we got to uh, visit uh, some of the southern islands like uh, Phuket, Kofifi, uh, those famous islands that you see on movies and are famous, they're beautiful, highly recommend you to visit them. We also got to experience a few days in Bangkok. Uh, so around the area there you find some really cool and, and nice locations that you can see. Um, and then after that, for the first time, we uh, actually slept on a train and we took a train to the northern cities of Thailand. We went to the city of Pai, which is cooler, and you're gonna find hot springs. Roger and I love hot springs, and Pai is a really chill city, so we uh, love our days there. We also went to the city of Chiang Mai. So in the city of Chiang Mai, you're gonna find the old city, amazing locations. Uh, and uh, we also went to the city of Chen Rei, where you're gonna find those famous and really nice temples like the White Temple. You're also gonna find uh, the famous Blue Temple. And then there's other temples around the area. Um, and if you like the spicy uh, Thai food like I do, you're gonna find that on the northern states. Uh, I noticed that the food in in, this, in Bangkok and the islands, it's a little sweeter. It's still really good, but it's a little sweeter. I am Mexican, so I love spicy food, so you're going to find that on the north side. In Thailand, uh, we noticed it's a little bit more touristy than the other countries we visited. And uh, honestly, I understand because it's a beautiful country and you have a different experience on the islands and Bangkok and the northern states. So even though it's the same city, but it's a different experience. We highly recommend you to visit Thailand as well. So yeah, subscribe to our channel uh, for more travel guides and just give us a like. If you have any questions about any of the countries we visited, let us know in the comments. 
and we'll see i'll see you and hopefully roger is with me next video uh so take care bye